ship explodes. Okay, I'm gonna have to get to this distress beacon. Um, just a lot. Try to dislodge the ship. Dang it! You take a few careful shots, but you expose a mineral patch in the rock that reacts violently with your weapon. Basically, we accidentally killed the dude. Long story short, now that's the sun. Ah, I hate the sun. Um, oh shiza, I just realized I'm gonna need to get on my high horse. I was hoping I would be able to get the thing in the corner. And I just realized my weapons are badly damaged. Alright, I'll go fight him. Because I'm a brave soul. And I'll just have... Alright. Just wanted you to give me a hand here. Ow! Alright, um... I'm not gonna shoot because it'd be kind of useless. Alright, that beam... Luckily, that... <clears throat> Alright, disable shields. And... Oh, we missed. Wow, how could we miss? How could we miss? <sighs> okay, our experiment is apparently extremely good and just vent the ship. I'm just gonna vent all atmosphere to the ship. I don't care. Open all, uh, open all doors. Close those two and just vent the ship. Because I don't care. Yep, the entire ship, except for the cockpit, is void. Is completely void of air. There is no air possible. Alright, uh, let's shoot the engines, because these guys are apparently extremely good at dodging. And I don't like it when people are good at dodging. So... <clears throat> Can't disrupt something that's destroyed. That's actually pretty good logic. Uh, let's disable their beam transport so they can't try to beam over. There was really no point. Alright, um... Gonna want to get that upgraded. Every For every two, you get an extra shield, so basically I'm gonna stack up some power. Um, oh boy. I really gotta get on my high horse to the exit beacon. Oh! Oh! Oh, jeez, yay! We got a... We got a good ion gun. Alright, we're gonna get out of here. We're getting the hell out of Dodge. Bye, fuel. We don't need fuel. Alright, next sector. Now, this is kind of where... This is, like, completely randomized for the game. Like, this is always gonna be different. And, like, there's, like, two, three different, like, charts that this thing goes on. You always start in a civilian one, I believe. In a green one, which is low bad guys, less tough. Uh, purple is kind of like the middle ground. Red is, like, you're going to run into a bunch of enemies. So, what I'm going to do is identified, um, hmm. Um... I think I'll go to the NG controls because I want some encounters but not too many since I'm on hard. Alright, let's go to the stress beacon first because we have good sensors. We have advanced sensors. Search for it. Ow! You find what appears to be coated with ice or crystal. A few asteroids. That's one, how... this. I believe this is like one of the parts to getting the crystal ship. To getting uh, yet the uh, crystal ship, it's oh my goodness! It's basically the crystal ship, in a nutshell, is basically a ship that whenever it gets hit, it has a chance of part of it flying like not like whenever it gets hit, like takes hull damage. You can shoot; it'll shoot back. Um, a young mantis. Has teleported. He begs for sanctuary and offers to serve in exchange for your protection. And you have already traced your teleporter signal, and are offering a deal. Um. Okay. There's like th this game is like really variated. Like it's three or four different variations. 
because like one variation is I, if I agree to offer him up, he can he can basically he's a traitor. Like he's an enemy. He's part of the, like a ploy. However, he can he can also commit suicide and damage my ship or I just get scrap. Like there, just with this one choice, there's three different variations that the game decides I can have. If I side with him, um, he can be part of the ploy again, and I'll have to fight the ship. Oh, by the way, if he snaps, whenever he snaps your attention, he side. He's uh, we have, you have to fight the ship. I'm gonna side with him, and he ah, there's there's another one I forgot. I had forgotten about. He can sabotage your ship. Really? Now that is just cruel. That is just cruel and unusual punishment. Oh boy, I do not want that beam thing. Oh, my thing got through. Oh god, it did get through. Oh god. Alright, um, luckily I don't think that thing can pierce my shields. Luckily. Oh, I need you two to now get to the door controls. Although, in retrospect, I don't actually need those. And now, punch the shields, damage the ship, and there's the NG butthole. Why is he healing? Can NG self-heal? Is that something they changed? I do not know. I don't know. Huh. I don't know. Huh. That'd be inter something interesting to look into. Which you can do. We just completely disabled the drones. Hey! Stop, stop fixing your stuff. Stop it. It's not good for your health. You could die. Alright, now I definitely want the clone bag back online, otherwise we could die! <clears throat> Although I'm sure we'd have no trouble. The, like, the, if, if one of us died, the, the other two of us would be like, Oh well, <laughs> we would not care. We'd just be like, oh well, it was nice knowing him. Alright, repair the door control, cause... Why the heck not? And, um... Oh, that's another thing they added. Um, for sensors and door controls, in the normal version, you... They would just be like, if... Like, you could not have someone manning them. Now, you can have someone man them. And they can provide, uh, in a boost. Like, it'll go up one level. And there is a extra level after the upgrade. Uh... A sh energy ship in the... Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm kind of desperate for good, so. <clears throat> so I decided to accept their surrender. They thought I was a bad guy. I mean, just look at my ship. It's it's not exactly normal. Um, burst laser mark two costs a lot, but it's really useful. Um, I'm gonna sell this because I don't. I'm not gonna use it. Um, could I buy crewman? No. Life form scanner. Location of any life forms. Oh, okay. Leaves a false signal at sector start to delay. Oh, oh, that's useful. Um, let's see. I'm gonna fix the ship a little more. Now we actually have scrap to upgrade the power so that we can have level two layers of shields. It'll help. It'll be useful if we run, run into any... Actually, it'll be useful right now. We're going to an asteroid field. Asteroids will occasionally hit our shield. Hit our shields. See? We, we wouldn't have shields right now. Oh, really? 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 What a dick move. Um, what we should do is, um, hopefully, yeah, I've got that in the bag. Because I'm badass. I myself am personally badass. The, these two, the, the, the Keegan and Dakota, they're just stupid idiots. I just drag them along. Actually, Keegan's the one usually dragging me and Dakota around, but that's not the point. Point is, they can't evade. 
Oh god. Okay. You gotta repower. Power. Okay. Alright. Oh god. Okay. I died. Uh, luckily the cloning bay is online, so. Did my shot really keep. Oh. That's cool. Uh, Alright. It takes 12 seconds for me to respawn. And, uh, you come with, uh. My, with, uh, penalties, like. Like, if you die, you, like, you take some penalties to, like, something. Like, I probably lost, yeah, I lost some skill in piloting, I think. Now let's kill these guys. Alright, now we have to wait until our, until our ship powers up its FTL, and we jump. Let's see, if the exit's right there, I can just kind of meander around. Boom, boom, boom. Or boom, boom, boom. Let's do, let's do that one. Right. A forward scout of the rebel fleet. Oh no! Let's hack their engines so that they can't jump. And then let's bre break their engines. Oh, the dicks. I needed those. I didn't necessarily, like, the whole breach isn't really affecting me. Oh god, I need that. I actually need that. Keegan, get on. Okay. This is why I hate missiles. They're OP. I, like, I can never, I, I don't like them. That thing is just ruining my day. Target weapons. Oh my god! Stop it! Stop! Just stop. You're annoying. I've gotta get two people on this. Otherwise it'll never work. I'll never be able to shoot at him. Jump in it. No, 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 shit. Now the scout got away, so now they're gonna have a boost. They they got a boost to find it. To get in me. Alright, we just got a quest to the next sector, not this sector, the next one. Basically, this guy's gonna be tagging along. Tagging. Tagging along. He won't, like, particip participate in combat, but he'll be following us creepily. Uh, but we don't need fuel. Let's jump to the next sector. Rebel controlled. <clears throat> Cause that is totally not gonna end badly. This is probably gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna do this in like one or two sittings. There's a quest marker. This is probably gonna be the end of like episode two here. So, uh... oh boy. All right, I'm gonna, I'll do this battle and then I'll quit. Um, I need to hit those shields, because that's going to take a lot of pounding to break through. Alright, shields are down. <clears throat> now they're back up. Alright, shields are down. Um, let's hit them again like that. Alright, now their shields are completely down, and I shall fire upon things. This guy can't actually hurt me, because he's got a tiny, he's got a crappy little beam thing that's never going to penetrate my shields, and that, I'm pretty sure that ion thing can only disable one of my shields, so. Yeah, this is good. This is good for me. Alright. And we shoot again, and we win. Alright, I think that's going to be the end of... Episode 2, probably? Maybe episode 1. I can't tell. Anyways, see you guys in the next episode.